and welcome to the Pink Sheep Tales podcast. Pink Sheep Tales? What's this all about, I hear you ask? Well, the name is based on the old saying, Black Sheep of the Family, and Tales, T-A-L-E-S, is a play on words because we'll be hearing people's life stories. So through this podcast, I'm so excited to be able to share these remarkable stories from inspirational children and adults with you. These everyday people are building amazing businesses, excelling in their careers, exceptional in their industries, choosing unique career paths, and all in the name of living their best life. My goal is to encourage listeners to follow their passions and be inspired by our pink sheep who have and are doing just that. So let's do it. Let's open the gate and hear this week's Pink Sheep Tale. Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Pink Sheep Tales. I hope everyone's had a good week. I've got a young man with me here today. His name's Matt Gordon and he's actually the son of a previous pink sheep, Samantha, our female jockey. And I think her episode came out maybe two weeks ago. But um, yes, I've, I've known Matt all his life and he's got a great story to share with everybody. So ambitious and it's really unique, his career path that he'd like to follow and his schooling, what he does at the moment. So I'll introduce you to Matt. Matt, how are you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you again for um, being with us. What really interests me about your story is I know how musically talented you are and how mum, uh, how your parents have really nurtured that and you go to a creative and performing arts school to really maximise your, your talents there. But your real passion for when you leave school is to become a pilot. That's right, yes. Yeah, so... Two very unique careers there that you're going to mesh together to be an awesome young man. So if we go back, it's not too far because you're in year 10 now, so um, not too far to go back to primary school, but just to get a little bit of background on yourself and a feeling for who Matt is, would you mind taking us back and what were your interests in primary school and subjects, extracurricular activities, um, things like that? So my interest in primary school, um, I first started playing drums when I was about eight years old and I had always uh, found interest in music and I had been in the school choir since pretty much when I joined primary school, so since kindergarten and uh, I'd, yeah, I'd been in the choir and I enjoyed it and then when I had started uh, playing the drums, when uh, my dad bought me a drum set when I was about eight years old, that's when I started to get into drums and... Uh, and instead of being in the school choir singing, I joined and started playing drums and we started a little band. Oh, cool. Did you have a name for the band? Um, we didn't. It was kind of like a little Beatles tribute band. We played Twist and Shout. Oh, cool. Cool. Your choir, you were like an accompaniment to the choir. Yes, oh, excellent. I was. And so was that um, up until year six when you left primary school or did you continue yeah. on? with any of those people into high school? So unfortunately I didn't get to continue on with any of those people from uh, primary school, but uh, I did end up joining a few rock bands when I joined high school, but uh, it was a good uh, little band in year five and year six. No. So when you say you joined a few rock bands, how I'm thinking of stories I hear of, say, the Beatles, for instance, or, um, you know, the bands from the 60s and 70s where they put ads in the paper looking for somebody. And yeah. is this the same sort of concept or not really? So they're actually uh, ensemble bands, if you would. Um, so you would audition into a rock band at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the term, and uh, the teachers choose a drummer and there's four bands and they'll have four drummers, four bassists and sometimes they'll have two guitarists in each band and usually one or two singers and uh, I auditioned for a rock band and I ended up getting into two rock bands, uh, one senior rock band and a junior rock band. So these are within school, do you compete with other schools bands or perform for um, public events or anything like that? We, uh, I, I did end up joining a percussion ensemble later in uh, year seven, and we went to the Joan Sutherland uh, 
Theater in Penrith and performed uh, performed a piece uh, called Technology, and uh, that was that was a pretty good opportunity. And we also uh, do a mid year showcase where there is dance, drama, circus, uh, music, and I believe that is it. Um, but we do a mid year showcase um, that goes for I believe about four nights. So what's your favorite instrument? Do you have one? So I started off playing the drums, but I have picked up the bass in the past three years, and I'm preferring the bass more than the drums at the moment. And why is that? Um, it's less, less gear to carry around, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it uh, quieter as well when you're practicing at home? It is much quieter, <laughs> and uh, I guess I just, uh, I just like playing it i really enjoy it so yeah oh that's great um so if with your creative and performing arts school did yourself and mum um research into a few different high schools that have really nurture your creativeness or were you referred to this school how did it come about I had some friends from my primary school recommend the school that I'm going to. They recommended that creative and performing arts high school. And, uh, yeah, so we heard lots of reviews how good it was. And uh, it was it was a, a decision between uh, a, just a regular uh, public high school or performing arts. And I took interest more in the performing arts as it would probably help me out a little more. Oh, definitely. So did you have to audition to get into the school? I did, yes. So I performed a uh, a drum Beatles medley and I had to video it and I think I had to video two songs and then send that into them and I had to perform once uh, in front of two teachers and uh, the results came back and I was at 110% in. Oh, congratulations. So how many kids are at your school? I believe there's about 1,200 at the moment. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Yes, it is a pretty big school. Yeah. A lot of creatives down there in Sydney. So, yes, it is a uh, it is a regular public school, but uh, they have a performing arts section. So for those who auditioned into the school for performing arts, they do, I believe it's about four lessons of their music or dance or drama or circus uh, per week. So we get a lot more music than regular public schools do you dabble in any of the other um skills get into some circus performing <laughs> i wish no <laughs> oh, there's time matt <laughs> <laughs> um so that's really I, I think that's really great that schools like that um exist now and you know because you're very talented and you can go a long way with that so nurturing it and with your parents support that's always really important I'm really curious about um, your goal to become a pilot. So you've done one flying lesson so far, but you were telling me just before about the, like there's sort of two different paths that you can go with becoming a pilot. Yeah, so there's uh, many options uh, to get into flying. Uh, first option is you could join the uh, RAS, uh, the Royal Australian Air Force, and uh, once you're locked in with them, I believe it's, I think it's four, four or five years you're with them and um, you can do it that way and then you're pretty much straight into flying uh, and there's another option where you can get your, your, just your single engine uh, pilot license and then you get your twin propeller and then uh, you just slowly go up and get each license until you're up until you're qualified to fly for Qantas or any other airline. And then there is also another option where you could apply for a cadetship with the airline and they teach you from you know, start uh, to end or top to bottom pretty much. So, so which um, have you decided yet which method you'd like to go with or it's still uh, in your early days still? I'm still in my early days, but I'd probably uh, apply for a cadetship. Oh, excellent. And flying internationally, is that the goal? I'm not quite sure yet at this point, but um, probably, uh, yes, most likely I'd like to join uh, an airline. Yeah. Um, yourself and mum went off to America last year. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ask to go up to the cockpit? 
We did. Uh, what we did you eat? Yeah, mum mum asked uh, if we could go and have a look in the cockpit once we landed, and uh, they actually moved us up to first class, uh, where the uh, crew rests, and uh, it was a, about an hour out from descent, and we waited up there, and then uh, once we landed, we got moved into the cockpit, and we got to speak to the pilot and uh, get a few pictures. That's a pretty good mum. <laughs> yes, yeah, very good mum. <laughs> Oh, shout out to mum there. So, yeah. was it, what's it like up in the cockpit? Is it quite small? Uh, yeah, it's pretty small. It's uh, just as I imagined it would be, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, and were the pilots Australian or American? Uh, the pilots were Australian. Uh, they were uh, Jetstar pilots. Uh, but uh, when we flew from Los Angeles to Vegas, they were American Airlines, so yes, oh. uh, they were American. But uh, they they told us uh, the many different ways to get into flying. Uh, they provide a lot of information. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that's really good of them to do that. Oh, excellent for Mum organising that. Um, Absolutely. And Mum also bought you a flying lesson. She did. She bought me another flying lesson that we have uh, booked in for next month. Okay, let's talk a bit more about um, your music and the did. The school teachers band tour with Mental as anything, or you were in the school teachers band, and then you also toured with Mental as anything. So yes, I am um, the the teacher that's in the band asked me if I'd like to get up and play a song, and I was a little hesitant, but uh, I uh, brushed over the song before they went on, and uh, and I got up and played Proud Mary by Tina Turner, and uh, it was a blast. It was really good fun. And have you done any other? touring or yes uh, my dad was uh has been in mental as anything for the past uh, i believe about seven eight years uh, i've i've been to ipswich with the mentors i've I toured all around sydney with them i believe i've been to over 15 uh, mental as anything shows so that was uh it's it's been very good uh, uh, that is awesome experience and i came and saw you is that the one at ipswich that you came up for when i came out and saw you Yes, I did. It was a very good surprise to see you there. I didn't, I didn't expect to see you there. <laughs> so, does, do you ever get invited up onto stage? Uh, not with the mentors. No. Uh, I didn't really get an opportunity there. But, uh, That's okay. Uh, but my dad has a local band, and uh, I used to get up with them a fair bit, so that was good. Oh, oh, it's a really good experience. You're getting, like, touring experience and being in the bands and everything, so... So, yes. so exciting. And I tried to get you up for a dance that night. Have you, <laughs> how's your dancing going, Matt? Are you up on the dance know. floor yet? I don't know. I, I might just stick with uh, being on the stage. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. In mum's interview, we were, mum told us all about her life and her story and how she um, was a female jockey and that's pretty cool and how uh, she's been doing full-time study and full-time work and caring for yourself so has mum sort of been a real inspiration to you to strive for really big goals absolutely yes uh, when uh, before we moved house uh, to where we are now uh, mum was she was she has been a very big inspiration uh, when I was in my younger uh, days. So uh, she has been a very big inspiration uh, yeah, through so, my childhood. So could you see that um, it was a lot of hard work for her, but it's paying off now? Yeah, well, uh, when when I was probably six and seven years old, I was working like seven days and she was studying at university to become a counsellor and I thought that was that was really good of her to do that. And uh, she, she really took care of me on top of studying and working seven days. And It was just very inspirational and you could see that things were achievable. Just it's a matter of um, working hard and loving what you what you do yeah just yeah. just strive for strive for what you want to do um and just don't give up yeah oh that's yeah don't give up and i know you're helping mum with um building her website for her business and um supporting her in a few it ways which she's really yeah. appreciating yeah I've, I've just started a website and uh so i'll get that up and running and uh, i've registered a domain and uh business emails so well we've got all that set up and uh, yes that's great that's great because 
um, mum mum can focus on uh, building her clientele and working. And um, yeah. yeah, you're able to help with all the IT stuff, which is really handy. Because if I if I may just plug her website, it's uh, SamanthaGordonCounseling.com. Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Mum would appreciate that. Good one, Matt. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so, do you have uh, interest in any sports? I used to play tennis and soccer, but i uh, never been too uh, real big on the sports. But uh, I do ride to and from school, so it's a 10-kilometer ride to school and 10 kilometers back. So uh, it keeps me busy on the bike. Yeah, oh, that's a good ride. How long does that take you? Uh, it's about 35 minutes each way. Uh, on the way back, it's uh, a little more because it's uphill. <laughs> ah, oh. oh, that's a good ride. It's nice yeah, to it's... get in a bit of exercise before you start your day. It is. It's good fun. Yeah. The bands that you're in at school, do they have names or are they just senior bands, junior bands? Uh, it's, uh, it used to be junior and senior bands, but they changed that uh, because kids started to feel a little you know, sad if they weren't in the uh, senior rock band. So they changed it to just uh, the teachers' names, uh, so like uh, rock band A and rock band B for uh-huh. each teacher. Uh-huh. Have you thought of any names for bands that you'd like to be in in the future when you leave school? Uh, I've, I've tried uh, coming up with a few names, but uh, it's tricky. I think we might have to put some names in a hat and try and pull them out. <laughs> Do you want to share any with us? <laughs> uh, well, we've got one that's called Coffee at the moment, but uh, that's yet to be confirmed. To be confirmed. Oh, well, keep us in the loop. I will, certainly. Yeah, yeah let us know first. Um, <laughs> oh, that's really great, Matt. And I know you've got some puppies at home as well that mum's wanting to incorporate into her counselling um, services. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how do you enjoy having the pets there? Oh, well, they're, they're really good. They uh, they make you smile, uh, except when one barks, uh, chooses to bark for two hours during the night. But, uh, but yeah, they, they're good fun. Oh, was there anything else? Do you have anything coming up that you'd like to share with everybody? Um, well, I do have the opportunity to, uh, I, my mum uh, introduced me to a few pilot friends that she met a few years back and uh, we've stayed in contact with them and they are the American uh, aerial firefighting pilots that fly uh, the DC-10 and 737s. Uh, they're based out at Richmond RAF Base and uh, we've become really good friends with a few of them and uh, we'll get the opportunity to go and have a look in those aircraft. Well, that's exciting. So were any of those, if I'm um, thinking of it correctly, were any of those deployed in the recent bushfires? Absolutely, yes. So I believe all of them have been deployed. There is, uh, they've bought a third uh, McDonnell Douglas DC-10 aircraft over here, and they are uh, one of the largest air tankers in the world. Uh, the largest is the Boeing 747, but the DC-10 is, uh, is I believe, the second largest one. They're pretty big. So they've bought a third one over here now. They have two 737 uh, aircraft. I believe they have only one C-130 now and two RJ-85s, two MD-87s. And I think that's all I can name at the moment. But uh, uh, the, the 737s owned by Colson, which are... Uh, Canadian-owned air firefighting business. Oh, well, that is a really good connection to have, and that'll be great experience to go check those planes out. Yes, so mm-hmm. the pilots, they're, they're really helpful. Any questions that I have for them, they answer them. And, uh, uh, they've just been a really big inspiration to uh, my piloting career. Oh, fantastic. So you've got two more years left of high school. Yep. And then you're out into the big world. Yes. <laughs> the big scary world. The big scary world. It's heaps of fun though. You'll you'll love it once you're out here. <laughs> <laughs> and you can take us to all our wonderful destinations we would like to go holidaying and oh, it'll be fantastic. We'll keep up with all the photos of you travelling all over the place. It'll be so great. Absolutely. Yeah, so two years it'll all be happening. All right, Matt. Well, thank you so much for giving me your time on a Friday night. And um, 
thank, thank you to mum. So yeah, thank you to mum as well. And um, it's just been really great. And I'm sure you've given some inspiration to a lot of older people and younger people who are, they might have a little desire to join a band or become a pilot. So great absolutely, information. Absolutely. Oh, well, thanks, Matt. Well, we'll sign off for now. And you keep us up to date with everything that's happening in your life. Thank you, Yen. Thank you for listening, and I hope you really enjoyed this week's tale. Let me now invite you to pop over to our Facebook group called Pink Sheep Tales Podcast, and there you can stay up to date with all the exciting news from our pink sheep. You can also find myself at OCD, Organising, Cleaning and Decluttering Specialists on Facebook or on my website, ocdpro.com.au. Well, I'll catch you back here next week. Until then, enjoy yourself.